time, we hit the streets to find out students' opinions on new men's basketball coach, Trent Johnson. And the baseball and softball teams were in action over the weekend against Ole Miss. We'll take you to the bright spots in an otherwise dismal weekend for the Tigers. And the NCAA Gymnastics Central Regional Champion was crowned Saturday night. Find out why Dee Burrow said this was the best team performance she's ever been a part of. All that and so much more, you're watching LSU Sports Showtime. With the recent addition of basketball coach Trent Johnson to the LSU athletic staff, Sports Showtime's Jason Temple hit the streets to see how much, if any, knowledge LSU students had about the new hire. It really gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our new coach, Trent Johnson. With the recent hire of men's basketball coach Trent Johnson, I hit the quad to get a student's perspective on Coach Johnson and see if they know anything about him. When I say Trent Johnson, what do you think? Football. I would guess football. No, no, no idea. No idea. I don't know Trent Johnson at all. As like sports. Trent Johnson, no. Uh, the Stanford coach. I think he's the best coach of life. He's the winningest coach. And Do you think Shaq will come back in LSU and play for us? I doubt it. No, I think he can pass the academic standards that LSU holds yes. to its high standard today. So I, th I think Shaq could do it. If he did come back, you know, I'd, I'd welcome with open arms. He's coming back with his with his wife, and they broke up, but they getting back together. Right. So that, so we have got Shaq gossip news in the house. That is, yeah. is this official? It's official. They're right. back together. Do you think he's upgraded over Coach Brady? We fired Coach Brady in the beginning, the, early, the mid, middle of the season. Excuse me. So you think he's the right hire? Um, yeah, I have much respect for Coach Brady, but um, I guess they needed something new for the right. season. So if Coach Brady asked you to dinner, what would you tell him? I'd probably go. Really go? Even if you had to pay? Probably not. What about Coach Johnson? Would you, would you go to dinner with him? That's a new coach. That's a new coach? Yeah, I'm, I would go. Right. I'd probably pay too. Did John Brady pick out this jacket you have on? Uh, no, he did not pick it out myself. Uh, where do you see this program, the LSU basketball program, in, in two years? I don't know where it is now. Well, if they stop sucking, uh, I might actually watch them. After an intense day of interviewing students here in the quad, we've learned that most students have no idea who Trent Johnson is and have little knowledge of the basketball program as a whole. Reporting for Sports Showtime, I'm Jason Templet. Now, transitioning from students who have no idea about LSU basketball to someone who oozes with knowledge, we bring back our basketball analyst, Jason Template, to get his opinion on the new hire. Jason, welcome to the show. Such a high compliment you give me. Like, I know. Well, I it's true. That. You are oozing with knowledge. Well, Good you. looks and, you know, all kinds of things. <laughs> Making me blush on camera in front of my peers <laughs> at the school. You're fine. Yeah. Now, Jason, we saw that most students are indeed oblivious to the new hire and to the basketball program, program as a whole. Do you think this can change? Absolutely. I think Trent Johnson is the perfect fit to change it here. And the SEC, football will always be king. But that can, basketball can play a secondary role. We saw it with schools like Florida and Tennessee. But it has to go back to their coaches, Bruce Pearl and Billy Donovan. With Bruce Pearl, the Orange Nation gets around the basketball program just like it did for the women's. In Florida, Billy Donovan has two rings in his finger. I don't think he really cares about playing second fiddle, fiddle to football when he's got more rings than Urban Meyer. So definitely Trent Johnson can hopefully play second fiddle to Les Miles. If he gets a ring or maybe a Final Four, any success here, right. he won't complain. Right. It definitely depends on how successful the basketball team is. And definitely. obviously in the SEC, football will always be king. But it is nice to see the basketball is competing a little better. Definitely. Now, it's been months since Sean Brady got fired, and we finally are seeing the payoff with the new hire, Trent Johnson. Uh, do you think this was the right decision? Oh, guaranteed, right Lizzie. No doubt. I never thought we'd be able to get such a high-profile coach as Johnson. Remember, when we hired John Brady, John Brady had no experience like Johnson has. John Brady was at uh, a little school in Mississippi or wherever it was. It doesn't even matter. He was, at, he was nowhere. Trent Johnson was at Stanford, brought that team to the Sweet 16 last year, and it could have been the Elite Eight if he wasn't playing Texas in Houston, which is basically a home game for Texas. He has fire under his belly. Unlike Brady, Brady had no fire. He just bit his towel, didn't, didn't do much on the sideline. He got, Johnson got ejected against Marquette in the second round game. That got his players amped up. Brooke Lopez was a non-factor in the first round. In the second round, after Johnson got ejected, he scored over 30 points in the second half and overtime, including the game-winning shot. When he was at Nevada, he took lowly Nevada to the Sweet 16 with Nick Fizikas as a freshman. And he brought in guard Ramon Session, who now starts for the Milwaukee Bucks. And had 20 assists last night in the game. If he didn't catch, if he had to catch that game, a high-scoring game. And we all know LSU definitely needs a point guard. Right. I mean, experience is such a huge factor. I think Trent Johnson definitely brings that. Obviously, you're hot on Johnson. I'm hot on Johnson. <laughs> but what can we expect from the Tigers next season? Uh, I think it's going to be a night and day difference. This team's going to be very, very disciplined. 
totally different than what we saw with John Brady. We're going to have a solid recruiting class coming in. Hopefully, Johnson can keep that, what Butch Pierre and Brady had accomplished. Jamison Morgan is the centerpiece of that class, number, number six center in the country. And also, Tasman Mitchell will be coming back from off-season surgery. He was preseason All-SEC last year. And returning uh, players, Marcus Dodd and Chris Johnson, should give the Tigers a good experience look, help the uh, newcomers come in and blend well with this team. Right. I think it will be interesting, too, just how recruiting improves through the next couple Definitely. years with Johnson. Now, man up and give us your prediction for next season. Uh, it's tough. What are the Tigers going to do? I don't want to be biased with this team because I, I'm a basketball guy. Mm -hmm. But I think they can be an elite team in the SEC West. That's not saying much because the SEC West is garbage. They're horrible. <laughs> but they can compete with East teams like Florida and Tennessee and be upper class of the SEC. So I see them squeaking into squeaking. the NCAA tournament. Just a squeak. Small crack. Small crack. <laughs> not much. Maybe first round, get knocked out in the first round, play a higher seed. But it's a good start for Johnson. NLP is the small basketball fan, <laughs> fan base of students that well, we saw Well, hopefully here. that fan base will grow, though. Oh, so I, ho be, I hope so. Yeah. Well, it would be interesting to see. Thank you, Jason, for joining Thank us. You. It's time for another commercial break, but we 